In this video, we will look at two methods for simplifying the given complex fraction. In the first method, we find the LCD or least common denominator of the fractions in the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. The numerator of the complex fraction is just two and therefore the denominator would just be one. But looking at the fractions in the denominator of the complex fraction, notice how we have a denominator of x and y and therefore the least common denominator is going to be x times y or xy. Step two is to multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD, which means you multiply both the top and bottom by xy. This will create an equivalent rational expression. On the top we have two times xy, which is two xy. On the bottom we distribute xy and let's show that distribution. We have one over x times xy and then plus one over y times xy. Let's simplify before multiplying and if it's helpful, we can write xy as a fraction with a denominator of one. Notice here we have a common factor of x. x divided by x simplifies to one. Here we have a common factor of y. y divided by y simplifies to one. Notice now we just have one times y plus one times x, which is y plus x. Or using the commutative property of addition, we can write y plus x as x plus y. The complex fraction simplifies to two xy over the quantity x plus y. Let's look at the second method. The first step of the second method is to simplify the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. So of course we can't simplify the two but we can find the sum of the fractions in the denominator. We have two over the quantity one over x plus one over y. We already know the least common denominator is x, y, and therefore we now need to write both of these fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of x, y. Here we're missing a factor of y, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator by y. Here we multiply the numerator and denominator by x. And now to add the fractions, notice how we have a common denominator of x, y. The denominator remains the same. And now we add the numerators, which is y plus x, if we want x plus y. The next step is to write the complex fraction as a division problem, because remember this fraction bar represents division. This is equivalent to two divided by the quantity x plus y over xy. And now let's write this division problem as an equivalent multiplication problem. Remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. Let's also write two as a fraction with the denominator of one. And then we have times the reciprocal, which is xy over the quantity x plus y. And now multiplying, notice how we do have two xy over the quantity x plus y, and we get the same result. I hope you found this helpful.